Hello everybody, Thunder here, and these are five non-spoilery questions about Geats and Revice Movie Battle Royale. Warning, this part of the video contains spoilers for both Kamen Rider Revice and Kamen Rider Ryuki the show. You have been warned. Was the movie good? Hmm, it was fine. I feel like it's a very convoluted story. Um, it also goes back to old movie Tyson tropes, like pre-Genesis tropes of like having a clear three-parter, um, even though the last two parts kind of blend together. But the first third of the movie is just a revised story. There is no one from Geats in that part of the movie, so it feels a little bit disjointed later on when you start thinking like, wait, but why this happened in the first third? Like it feels just a completely separate uh, movie, even though it does connect with the overall plot of the movie. Um, I thought it was better than the revised uh, summer movie for sure, but that's not because of the revised cast. I think it's because of the Geeks part of it. Um, and uh, I, I honestly thought that last year's Tyson was infinitely better than this one. Is it canon? Yes, yes, it is canon uh, for both Revice, because set after the show, and for Geats, which is set between the episodes that are airing this week, which I will definitely put right here. I'm not sure if it's, if it's canon for Ryuki, because that's a whole weird thing. And speaking of it, how was the Ryuki side of it all? It was weird. It was confusing. Their presence in the movie, even though it's in the posters and it's teased, it's kind of pointless. They don't really need to be there other than, hey, it's 20th anniversary of this Battle Royale Kamen Rider. Uh, look, we're also doing a Battle Royale show now. So it feels very shoehorned in. Um, I understand what they were going for in terms of narrative but it's still pretty pointless. Uh, leaves a lot of questions if you're a Ryuki fan and you're like, what the heck is going on here? Um, they even changed their henshin transformations. Um, they have the same pose, but the animation is different, is a lot more Reiwa-like now. Um, so it's kind of weird, it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, I can just, if, without saying any spoilers, I would just say it's weird. Finally, did you get anything from watching the movie? Uh, yes, I did, actually. Normally, they give out cards and uh, like little booklets or posters or whatever. This time I actually got a toy. I got a Rev Up uh, Kamen Rider Revise. Uh, Revise is in the uh, Ultimate Revise and uh, Vice is in the, the bike form in the, in the uh, Vice armor thing um yeah and if you uh pull back it will uh go very fast i'm pretty sure i'm going to include footage of, of, of it right now actually as as you're speaking so uh yeah so that's it everybody those are the five non-spoilery questions about the movie tyson this year on my should you watch a scale i will say it's a meh it does not add pretty much a lot to either show. It does give a happy ending to Revise, um, but other than that, um, it's pretty much cannon fodder, uh, honestly. But yeah, that's it. Uh, if you want to hear some spoilers, um, stay until the end of the video. But if you don't want to hear any spoilers, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, everybody, it's time for spoilers. These are five super spoilery questions about the movie that we just talked about. What's the deal with the Ryuki Riders? So like I mentioned in this, the non-spoiler part of the, the, the review, um, they're very shoehorned in the movie. They serve in the second third as the enemies for um, 
for for the marathon part because um, basically the Geet Riders uh, are asked to deliver this like demon baby from one point to another and that's like a, the, their game um, and they have to work together and it's kind of like Fortnite so the the playing area keeps getting smaller and smaller and if you're found outside you're eliminated from the game um, so Obviously, the revised people are trying to get the baby back because it's the like inner demon of their uh, newborn uh, like brother, and apparently they they, they have some like um, some some uh, Gifu's uh, energy stuff from revised. Um, but the Ryuki Riders are there as like almost individual villains. For the characters, so um, and, and there's only three. There's there is uh, Oja, Ryuga, and Knight. Um, but at the end, then uh, the the third part is is an all-out battle. Is is the last rider surviving wins becomes Dezashin, and they, they can like you know wish on their their world. Um, and the so so they are also characters in that. Um, you must you must be asking. We must be asking, what about Ryuki? Ryuki only shows up in the end. Uh, apparently he was trapped in the mirror world. This is never alluded in the movie prior to this point. But uh, Knight kind of attacks Ryuga and then uh, Ryuki is free. And then Ryuki, uh, already transformed, goes and defeats Ryuga. So um, there is not a lot in an, of Knight fights Oja. Uh, but that is that's pretty much it. So so there's so they're there. Uh, they do some like sh show beats, uh, like famous bits from the show. They say their catchphrases, but they don't add too much to the story. At the end, we have a nice little moment between Shinji and Ren, where they kind of talk about like when are we gonna stop fighting um, and and this kind of stuff. And then Ren also uh, sorry. And, and Shinji also meets Keiwa, and they have a little heart-to-heart -heart, uh, about being guys that want to stop the fighting by fighting, which is so ironic. That's it. That's the whole of Ryuki in this movie. Question number two. Does Vice comes back? Yes, he does, and then he dies again. Um, so, in the revised part of the movie, the first third, um, Iki and his family are fighting these two aliens um, that are that came to Earth to steal uh, the baby. And um, Revi, they, they say very early on that Iki can transform even though he doesn't have vice, but he only has half, half the power. And uh, so he does transform, but he gets really badly hurt to the point of like going to a coma. Um, and inside of his mind, he has the decision, like he has to make the decision, either let it all go and die, or to continue suffering. Um, and then kind of makes another pact with uh, his inner demon, which brings Vice back to life. Uh, but only temporarily. So uh, randomly at the middle of the third act, he starts disappearing again. That's when uh, the Desire Grand Prix people give them both the uh, Desire Drivers so they can transform into, you know, Geek's versions of their characters. Uh, and that's supposed to keep it, keep him alive for a little longer. Um, but uh, at the end, you know, Vice is going to disappear. Um, both Iki and uh, Ace kind of won the the final match of the Desire Grand Prix, and they're both Desashin, but um, so Tsumuri basically, you know, was like, one of you guys write your desire, we're gonna build the world like that. Um, Iki says that if everyone that died during the game comes back, then he doesn't need any wish, so uh, Ace pretty much wish, wishes that Iki uh, remembers Vice. So once um, Vice disappears again, Iki still remembers him. So that's the happy ending for the Vice, uh, the revised cast. Uh, they, they're still like Iki still remembers Vice, and uh, he can live with that. He can live with that memory. 
so what happened to the Desire Grand Prix? Um, and why are the riders fighting? So, if you watch Kamen Rider Geek, you know that riders fighting each other is against the rules. So, so basically, this disgraced game master takes over, uh, steals the glare, like the vision driver, and uh, reshapes, like basically hacks into Tsumuri and George to make them their commentators kind of thing. But uh, he ins basically changes the Desire Grand Prix to become the Desire uh, Royale, which is a battle royale game um, where whoever wins will become Desashin, but the, the, the goal is actually um, use Gift's energy, which is still like beaming from when he got defeated in, at the end of Revised, to basically destroy the world and reshape the world uh, as a uh, forever uh, game, like a dystopia basically. A dystopia where everyone is fighting each other, it's an it's a ultimate battle royale, that's, that's a bad guy's plan. So, uh, turns out at the end of the movie, uh, Girori fights this new uh, game master. He wins. He takes the glare, uh, like the vision driver, back, and he kind of resets the world again. Uh, but because the writers are still fighting uh, the bad guy, uh, he, they make it a like part of the Desire Grand Prix that whoever defeats the bad guy of the movie, uh, they become Desashin and then we can recreate the world. So they incorporate parts of the um, Desire, Desire Royale into the Desire Grand Prix. Uh, so yeah, that's what is happening uh, with the game. What about the new Kamen Rider? So the new Kamen Rider is actually the bad guy of the movie and it's honestly my favorite part of the movie because it has such a cool backstory. Uh, Kamen Rider Seeker, uh, he is a former Desire Grand Prix champion and uh, because he won, he ended up becoming like a famous uh, like mixed martial arts fighter and he also uh, helped his, uh, his politician family to rise up to power and become like really influential um, and he basically he, like he's very strong but he's used by his dad to uh, you know get him out of some corruption scandals so um, the true bad guy of the movie is actually the dad that is just a regular guy that ends up being like arrested at the end but um, Seeker is a really cool writer his buckle the, the powered builder um, he can use all of the three weapons to actually build stuff. So he just keeps building structures uh, against the riders and that's a really cool concept. Uh, and, and he's used at the end uh, with the power of the, the demon baby to basically create a tower all the way to Gifu's energy beam thingy to um, basically reshape the world. It creates like kind of a door to it. The world. At the end, uh, he's defeated by both riders, and um, basically they tell him, like, you know, hey, come back, come to the game again. Uh, like, we would love to fight properly without any sort of like doping. Um, yeah, he was a really interesting character. I wish he was the main focus of the movie. I think that the movie, you know, has a lot of plot lines that end up converging at the end, but um, doesn't feel like focused at all, so thinking that had only focused on his story, I think it would have been a much better uh, part of it. Um, was there a post credit scene? Yes, there was a post credit scene that is kind of a big spoiler for Kamen Rider Geats. Um, basically, Girori and the other guy, uh, the, the higher up in uh, the Desire Group are talking, each other and they come to a conclusion and a realization that um, Ace is not someone from our time. Ace is someone from a different time period. Uh, because there are some points in the movie that he references like Shakespeare and other classical, uh, you know, people. So um, yeah, there is there, there is this bombshell at the end of the, the game, uh, end of the movie there. Uh, and but yeah, that's it. Those are the five spoilery questions. We didn't even talk about um, Kewa's inner demon, and we didn't talk about the fact that uh, the final battle in the revised part, all the other characters 
other than Vice and, and Revi are just there, just like chilling, watching the fight. Um, it's a weird movie. And um, if you guys want like like weird movies, um, go watch it. I, I think it's very passable. Um, I will be posting a ranking of all the movie ties ends very soon. So you'll see where that falls in that ranking. But uh, until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.